the wicked of this world. You think that the fire and brimstone that fell upon Sodom and Gomorrah, the five cities of the plains of Zohar, was a sign and a warning of decimation. It will be nothing compared to what happens to this world if it continues to do so wickedly against the creator of the universe. If it continues to embrace the kingdom of hell and persecute the kingdom of heaven on earth, These warnings come at this time by the will of God. Our nation is this close, this close to receiving divine judgments and wrath like the world has never known. And the Christians within the borders these days, those that know the one true God, living comfortably and in peace and apathetic towards the fact that our children are being brainwashed and deceived in our public schools, and apathetic towards the fact that hundreds of millions of innocent infants are being slaughtered, and doing nothing whatsoever, not taking one moment of time, barely even to pray their behalf, let alone actually oppose, actually take real time to make real changes in this nation for the better. Thinking that you're secure behind closed doors, I saw that false security ripped asunder in a way as dark forces broke in your doors hauled off to various locations of solitude where you were tortured, where the dark spirit of air tried to get you to recant and repent, tried to get you to denounce and renounce the Lord of hosts. I saw many of you who were constantly thinking you were going to float out of here in the pre-tribulation rapture, weeping and thinking that you had been left behind and wondering why. And it's because you did not read the scriptures yourself you did not ask God to teach you himself. You let man-made deception and man-made religion be your salvation instead of the one true God. There is no pre-tribulation rapture. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of hell are clashing on earth. We are witnessing the spirit of air and the spirit of truth at its ripened state the wheat and the tares have grown together and the harvest is at hand both the wine press of God's wrath will be trampled and the sweet wine of salvation together Only because some of you sweet grapes are refusing to hear and heed these warnings from God Almighty's messengers, and you are refusing God's instructions to leave the wicked cities. <sighs> Every place that persecutes you every place that treats you wrongfully 
and to shake the dust off your feet. You are clinging to your things of this world instead of clinging to God. You must pray everyone who names Christ as their Lord and Savior as you've never prayed before until you know that you know you are being led of His Holy Spirit that you are exactly where He wants you to be doing exactly what He wants you to do. These are critical days. The only way America will not see the beginning of divine judgments and by that I mean we've already seen but I mean clear divine judgments beginning even within this next decade is that the people of this country man, begin to rise up and demand the arrest of all the mass murdering treasonous politicians 911 of all the war criminals in the Pentagon, of all the ex human experimentation going on in hidden dark places within the American borders, human splicing with animals, chemical lobotomizers and tortures by psycho psychotic psychologists, to be polite, I call them psychoquats because that's what they are. They torture other human beings in the name of science. And they do it without any consciousness whatsoever for the souls they destroy. They are psychopaths by definition. And definitely the personification of fallen dark spirits and souls. But what I'm saying is the people of the light are choosing to go like this and cover their eyes and pretend these things are not going on within our borders. They know our children are being lied to in the name of science taught complete rubbish in the name of science called the theory of evolution and are doing nothing next to nothing to prevent it. Laws exist but there must be factual truth in the textbooks in many states but none of the parents are rising up at least sufficient in numbers to make sure that that's the case. So children continue to be brainwashed in the name of so-called science in our so-called public schools founded by the satanic New World greedy order of the Rockefellers in this nation. Public education used to be in the family and the church. And if you really want to see America be blessed again, it will return to the Holy Bible as the primary textbook. for years required reading and for years as a result this nation became exceedingly blessed for years the second most published and translated book in the whole world wasn't some other religious text that was contrary to the Holy Bible but was one that was received by a soul persecuted for the faith by the name of John Bunyan. He wrote many books while being persecuted, but easily one of the greatest works of all time that the world has ever known next to the Holy Bible is his book called Pilgrim's Progress. And both those books should once again become mandatory reading in our public education and not just for a semester but as primary textbooks throughout primary and secondary education. And if I had my way, it would continue lifelong.
if America wants to be blessed again. Crops will fail for many reasons. All those who trust in their money, all those of the satanic New World Order that have dug holes in the ground and filled those storehouses with grains and food and water and supplies that they think will enable them to survive these coming judgments and wrath from God Almighty. They know. They're purposely creating a series of deceptions to bring divine wrath upon the souls of humanity. Therefore, they will suffer the greatest in eternity. But I say to them that none of your shelters, none of your grains and storehouses, none of your money, nothing wherein you trust will save you in the days ahead. Though you dig into hell itself, God will find you. Though you attempt to rise into the heavens, God will bring you down. Those who crawl into their subterranean networks, you know, while divine wrath is being poured out upon the masses that they are primarily responsible for deceiving, will go to their stores only to find them rotten through and through, and whole new species of rodents and rats and that they've never even seen before, consuming both the food that they stored and their rotting corpses around them. In madness they will look at one another. In madness some will murder one another, and in even greater madness some will devour one another. If you do not repent, if you do not turn from your wicked ways, if you do not humble yourselves in the sight of God Almighty and the nations of this world, hell on earth, such as I would never hope to see or imagine, will erupt. You worship darkness, death, destruction, violence, and wickedness of every kind, laughing at those that revere the one true God and creator of the universe, mocking at those who worship the one true God and creator of the universe, and God will turn you over to that darkness. God will let you find out what hell is all about. If you do not repent. To let the wise everywhere around the world at the hearing of these words join me and pray before Almighty God for mercy for the outpouring of the spirit of repentance upon the whole world for the outpouring of his Holy Spirit upon the whole world, that these terrible things not become manifest on the globe, that darkness, blackness, and smoke does not consume, that ash and ruins does not consume, that hell beneath does not open up in festering pustules on the surface of the earth, that suddenly whole crowds of raving madness demanding their rights to slaughter their babies and, and to do wickedly to children and to one another. That the whole earth does not suddenly open her mouth and swallow them whole. These things will happen if the people refuse to repent. So pray with me now. Pray with me for God knows that each and every one of us once walked in the kingdom of hell. God knows that each and every one of us 
were once filled with the spirit of air, were once deceived, were once headed towards everlasting damnation, like these are. So pray with me now that God would have mercy on them as he had mercy on us. And join me now in apologizing to the world in behalf of our wicked and greedy persons in our nation that are controlling our government and militant forces by the use of deception and propaganda to sow evil and violence in this world while pretending to be the righteous police power saving nations instead destroying them. And all for the purpose of a few greedy unbelievable individuals that lust after power incessantly that lust after more and more wealth incessantly may the blindness be lifted from the eyes of people everywhere and realize that, that these ultra wealthy few greedy souls on planet earth are primarily responsible for the hell that is being sown to this day all over the world and those that have been deceived by them. May the truth of the Creator shine as never before through the souls that know Him all over the world and in power and authority may He raise you up in the midst of all those that still lie in darkness in such power and authority that you're able to shred the deceptions that cloud their minds that cloud their hearts, that cloud their senses from receiving the one true God and then from receiving His mercy and forgiveness and salvation now and forever. Amen.